My racist mother-in-law straightened my mixed-race daughter's hair, so I criticized her on social media. My mother-in-law never seemed thrilled that her son married a black woman, but she hasn't been outright hostile. Yet, every time I see her, she unleashes microaggressions. The first time we met, she touched my curly hair, remarking she liked its wild look. I was offended, asking her not to touch my hair. Her response, you must be used to it, looking good with that hair. My then-boyfriend, now husband, understood my concerns and addressed them with his mother. After that, we limited contact, given our rocky start. While my husband wasn't close to his mom growing up, holiday visits were fraught with strange comments about my race or hair. She made passive-aggressive remarks, even questioning why I hadn't tamed my hair to look more beautiful with straight hair. It was one of the rudest things anyone had said to me, said openly in front of her family without anyone objecting. Fast forward to the birth of our first daughter a year ago. I nearly cut ties with my mother-in-law after her behavior behavior in the hospital. When she first held our newborn, her comment was, let's hope she ends up with beautiful hair like grandma. I promptly kicked her out of the delivery room. Since then, our relationship has been strained. Recently, I tried to tolerate her more. Last week, I made the grave mistake of letting her care for our daughter. We wanted a day trip, hesitant to leave her overnight. I trusted my mother-in-law despite my uneasy gut feeling. I'd give anything to turn back time and heed my instincts. The condition in which we found our daughter still haunts me. Her eyes were swollen, as if she'd been crying all day and her hair had been dyed and straightened, looking terrible. My daughter was clearly upset. I immediately confronted my mother-in-law, demanding to know what she had done. She insisted on calm, claiming this was a cleaner look for my daughter. She took her to a professional salon for hair dye and keratin treatment. The result? Awful platinum blonde hair with crispy, wavy texture, a process my exhausted daughter endured for almost four hours, despite being a small child. I told my husband I'd never let his mother care for our our child again. I also declared I never wanted to see her alive again, storming out of her house in anger. My husband stayed behind, talking to his mother. I waited in the car, the ride home filled with silence. I spent the night consoling my daughter. My husband ignored us, not checking on her before bedtime. He simply went to sleep early, and we haven't discussed the incident yet. I took photos of my daughter's hair, seeking advice in a curly hair group. While furious, the comments were supportive. I plan to repair my baby's hair this week after buying products. I'll sit down with my husband, emphasizing the gravity of his mother's actions and my refusal to tolerate such treatment from her again. Disrespecting me throughout our marriage was one thing, but altering our daughter's body without consulting her parents is another level of madness I won't accept.